weeks ago tonight, just two days before Christmas, masked gunmen shot a West Omaha roofing contractor in his own house. Tonight, the killers are still out there. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. And I'm Craig DeGrelli. The unsolved murder of Mike Brinkman near 184th and Q has left a lot of people in far west Omaha on edge. Tonight, only on three, new information. Reporter Maya Sines spoke with a close friend of the victim who wants to keep this case from going cold. Maya. Craig, Jen, tonight I spoke to a close friend of Michael Brinkman. He says Brinkman and his companion were getting ready to go to dinner when the killer surprised him at the door. He's a fun-loving guy. I mean, good guy. A great father, grandfather, and husband. That's how Wayne Layton remembers his dear friend, Michael Brinkman, of nearly 30 years, who was shot and killed inside his home in West Omaha on December 23rd. It's tough for Kim and Seth and Nicole not having answers. It's tough for his family and friends not having any answers. Answers as to how this murder took place in a quiet street in West Omaha. Uh, you don't just get to that house without knowing where you're going, how to get there, what house it is, and the bold and brashness of the situation. Layton says the lack of information in his friend's murder has made him more vigilant, especially with newer white Dodge Durango's SXT with the rally pack. The vehicle, police said, was a suspect vehicle. I don't go anywhere without a pen and piece of paper in my car. I see a white Durango, I follow it. Now for the sake of Brinkman's family, Layton asked that others do the same and help bring justice for Brinkman and closure for his family. And I beg and plead of the Omaha community, Please, if you hear something, call Crime Stoppers. It's no clue is too small because this murder cannot go unsolved. Mike was a fantastic human being. He was a giving, caring, loving man to anybody that knew him. Police say the suspects have been described as two black males, with one of them wearing a mask. The only lead police have shared is that the suspects were driving a 2015 or 2016 white Dodge Durango. If you have any information on this case, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers at 402-44-STOP. You can remain anonymous, and as Brinkman's friend said, no clue is too small. Reporting live from the studio, Maya Science, KMTV Action 3 News.